Hey, what's going on guys? It's Anson here and today we're back with a brand new video and I just wanted to make a quick video just to talk about a couple of Discord servers that I personally have used that have definitely helped me out a lot with uh, my programming career and I feel like you guys would definitely appreciate this list as well because not everyone knows about these servers. They're very, they're definitely very popular but I want to spread the word myself so you guys will know uh, which servers that you can go to to get help. So first of all I want to say that this is a very opinionated uh, list because I'm only going to be listing servers that I have personally used myself and I have actually posted in and asked questions and uh, had a positive experience. So if there's a server that you enjoy using that is not on this list you know don't feel bad about it don't feel you know don't dislike the video because of it this is just based off of my experience and i just want to share my experience with you guys now a couple things that i should mention is that these servers are dedicated for programming as well as you know you can talk about programming you can receive help you can also just you know have a relaxed chat it doesn't have to be programming related but they do have channels dedicated for these topics for whether if you want to talk about web development if you want to talk about javascript python whatever languages that you want you can also receive help as well now i will mention that if you're primarily trying to visit these servers to uh, get programming help i should mention that there are definitely some principles that you should follow when it comes to asking for help. I know when I first started out with programming, I didn't really know how to properly, you know, ask a question. And I know that sounds like pretty stupid, but yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't know how to properly ask questions and they ask themselves, hmm, why don't people help me? Why am I always, you know, struggling with this? Why can't people understand what my issue is? Most of the time, it just boils down to the way that you ask your question. If you go to a doctor and if you don't explain to them thoroughly what your symptoms are, it's impossible for them to really figure out what it is that's wrong right sure they might be able to guess it on the first try and that's just probably you know them because they know a lot about it but most of the time that's not the case you need to be very descriptive about what it is that you're experiencing you need to talk about whether or not you had a stomach ache whether you ate food during that day you need to be very descriptive and it's the same thing with really anything in general with programming you need to make sure you provide your code the errors you need to talk about what you've tried what errors you got you need to also mention what the expected outcome is but what it actually isn't doing you need to come up with these different scenarios so that people can help you out a lot more better if you can't come up with these things it's very impossible for uh, people to help you out again there are some times where you can just mention something that's very vague but it's very easy for someone to uh, think of a solution that could help you but don't follow into that practice always provide as many details as you can and it'll make your life so much easier it'll also make our lives the people that help on the servers a lot it'll make our lives a lot easier to help you out anyways without further ado let's get to the main point of this whole video so i'm going to start off oh by the way the order of these servers that i'm mentioning them it doesn't matter again the order doesn't matter so all right so now the first server that i want to talk about is devcore now the links to these servers will be in the description don't worry but yeah, DevCore, this was a server that I joined probably around 2017. I remember the first time I joined it, I was asking like very noob questions about HTML and CSS. And during that time, you know, there were a lot of friendly people who were helping me out. Like I said, uh, it's really subjective because there's going to be rude people everywhere. Um, just because there's one rude person in the server doesn't mean the entire community is full of rude people. Overall, like I've never had any complaints with this server whatsoever. Um, every most of the time whenever I asked questions there were lots of people who were very informative so I definitely considered joining the server now one thing that I definitely noticed about the server that stands out from the rest of servers that I've been in is that one aside their activity uh, they actually have a dedicated uh, topic of the month is what they call it, TOTM and you can see right over here the current topic is backend and this is where they devote an entire month to talk about a specific uh, topic so whether it be backend I think about uh, two months ago they did GraphQL and I think last month they did storybook so i'm not sure what the next one is going to be i think they are going to reset it i think this month because it's already uh they, they've already done the back end already but yeah you can see that they're definitely very active they definitely care a lot about their community a lot and these are things that you want to look out for for servers to to be a part of right activity uh server engagement from staff responsiveness a lot of different things so you can see that they have a lot of different channels you can talk about pretty much whatever that you want you can talk about front end back end javascript again lots of different channels okay so now the next server that i want to talk about is uh, the localhost server so this server i've been a part of for i think over a year now i remember when i first found this server it was from brad traversy's uh twitter post i think and i joined it instantly and uh, a lot of people here again very very helpful people very very intelligent people knowledgeable very helpful staff i've never had any issues whenever i ask questions here i've asked a decent amount of questions here but yeah so i've been on the server for over a year i've never had any issues very helpful staff very friendly people and again 
these I've never seen anyone here ridicule anyone for not knowing something. There are people who are very patient. They definitely always, you know, take the time to explain things. And if you don't know something, don't be afraid to speak up, right? If you feel like someone is not answering a question the right way, there's usually two things that you could do. You could either, one, be completely rude to them, which you shouldn't do, because then if people know that you're rude to them, they probably want to help you out. Or you can just, you know, ask them to re-explain something. And even if they still can't explain in a way that you expect um, them to, someone else could probably intervene and they could, you know, help you out as well. So just be patient. Okay, so the next server that I want to talk about is the TypeScript server. So this is the official TypeScript server, I think. Uh, yes, it's, it's verified over here. And there's actually some people that I've uh, noticed here that are super helpful. They've answered questions all the time. Every single time I've asked TypeScript specific questions here, um, very, very helpful. I've always been satisfied. And yeah, a very friendly community, never had any issues here. So I would definitely consider joining this server if you really want to enhance your skills with TypeScript. This is definitely the place to be asking your questions. All right, so the next server that I want to talk about is the React the Flux server. So I've used this server a couple times, but I've always been satisfied with it. Again, never had any issues with the server whatsoever. Again, I don't know what goes on because I don't monitor the server all the time. Uh, but like I said, this is the perfect place to uh, get help with React. So any question that you have with React, uh, GraphQL, React Native, um, Enzyme for testing, just anything that has to do with React, this is definitely the place to ask those questions. There's a lot of very helpful people here. You can see they have a lot of different uh, channels. It's a very active community, so definitely check out this server. Okay, so another, the next server that I want to talk about is Nest.js. So I've been a part of this server for about a couple months, and but I've been very satisfied with um, the server. Like, There's definitely lots of helpful people on here. And the very helpful people, they've always been very kind, very patient. So I definitely would consider joining the server if you want to learn Nest.js. If you don't know what Nest.js is, I would definitely look into it. It's basically a web framework that's built on top of Express, and it's opinionated, and it was inspired by Angular. So if you like Angular, definitely look into Nest.js. If you're bored with Express, consider learning Nest.js. All right, so next server that I want to talk about is the Rust server. So I know this might not be very uh, popular for some of you guys that are subscribed or watch my videos because most of you guys probably don't know what Rust is or you know what it is, but you don't care about it because you guys are web developers, JavaScript developers. But for those who do care about Rust, Rust is a systems programming language. It's a lower level language compared to languages like Java or JavaScript. Definitely JavaScript, though. Rust is very similar to C++. In fact, some people argue that Rust is probably going to take over C++ in the next couple of years or so. Um, and yeah, this is a very useful server. Uh, it's verified as well. And very, very popular. Lots of people on here. Lots of friendly people on here. If you want to learn Rust, if you want to learn even more about lower level languages, for example, if you ever wanted to consider building your own language, building your own compiler, uh, you would probably want to use a low level language like Rust or C. And this would definitely be a place to uh, talk about those kind of things. All right, so next server that I want to talk about is the Flutter server. So I've only been a part of this server for about like two weeks, but I've had a great time being on here. Lots of friendly people, lots of very helpful staff as well, very helpful community. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. They have a bunch of different channels here too. So if you want to talk about Android, if you want to talk about uh, Firebase. All right, now this next server isn't programming related, but it is math related. And I do know there is a debate whether or not you need math with programming. I do think that there are some cases where math can help you out a lot with programming, especially if you're studying computer science, you will need to take some math classes. This server has helped me out a lot. I've used the server for a lot of my uh, college level math classes. And it's helped me out a tremendous amount. So if you're learning math, I would definitely consider joining the server because there's a lot of helpful people on the server. It's very active. All right, so next server I want to talk about is the Python server. This is a great place to uh, receive Python help. You can talk about Python as well. They have a very active community. They have lots of monitors, lots of staff. So it's very likely that if you ask a very specific question here, or if you just ask something here, someone will definitely be able to help you out. And yeah, you can see that there's like a bunch of different channels. So definitely check it out. If you're trying to, you know, get better at machine learning, if you're trying to get better at, you know, web dev with Flask or Django, uh, if you want to learn more Discord Pi, you could definitely check out this server. Very, very awesome server. All right, now this uh, server that I'm mentioning last, so again, the order doesn't matter, but I've been a part of the server for about four years now. I first joined the server when I started my computer science degree, 
and this was the only server that I was in with that was programming related and I can definitely vouch for the server it's helped me out a lot they don't spoon feed you they want you to work for your your, your solutions so I'll definitely consider joining the server a lot of the staff I don't know them personally but I've seen them around for the past four years that I've been on here and I'll definitely consider joining this server it's a good place to uh, talk about programming topics talk about computer science topics they have a bunch of different uh, people from different backgrounds so there's no excuse like if you want to talk about machine learning or artificial intelligence they have channels over there if you want to talk about databases they have channels over there computer science theory they have a channel for that and that's going to be pretty much it for all of the servers for this video so hopefully uh this list uh, helped you guys out and like I said definitely check it out because a lot of people don't know about these resources so with that being said hopefully you guys will consider joining these discord servers like I said there will be links in the description and that's pretty much it so hopefully this video was informative and I'll see you guys in my next one peace